Hi, it's, it's really good to see you. Uh, in Unravel, we used yarn to symbolize love and the bonds between people. In our new game, we, we tear that bond up right at the start. You lose everything, including your spark. But when things are at their darkest, you find hope. And you form a new bond. And your spark is rekindled. And it leads you off on an adventure. So welcome to Unravel 2. It's a game about fresh starts and second chances. These two little souls who refuse to give up and who build something new and beautiful together. And the whole game is inspired by that spirit of optimism and togetherness. You see, it's all made to be played with two characters. You can play it alone or you can play it in co-op with a friend, but there's always two characters there sharing one yarn and working together to get through this adventure. This game, it's quite different from the first. It's, it's both friendlier and more challenging, but above all, it's a lot more playful. And, and we think it's a worthy successor. And I want to show it to you now, so I, I brought some help. Uh, so please m welcome Michael to the stage. He's so a producer at Coldwood. And we're going to try to show you a little bit of what I'm talking about, about how you can play the game in, in co-op with yourself, essentially. <laughs> so this wasn't prepared. So when you're playing it by yourself, you can essentially pick up the other character and carry them along through the more fast-paced segments of the game. And we actually tried to include a bit more of those because we figured that since it's a co-op game, we wanted to have more like thrill and danger and kind of wow moments, uh, places that were like fun and exciting. And then when you get to the more puzzly areas like this, when you're problem solving, you can split apart into two and switch back and forth between the two characters because that's how we've essentially designed all the problems and puzzles of the game, that you're always working together and helping each other out and utilizing this bond between you to overcome any obstacle that you come across. So I guess I'll, I'll, I'll jump in at this point. Yeah, come join me. So, um, I'm gonna be the re red one. Okay. You'll be the blue one. I'll be blue. A little celebr celebratory flip there. And the bird is back. Oops. Okay, playing it, playing it safely now. <laughs> Oops. I'll swing. Alright. Nice. And I'll catch you. There you go. Can I swing now? Okay, you go ahead. Come on. Goes. Oh. Okay, this is the scary part. Let's see if we can do it. Got it? Oh, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Buster. <laughs> oh, well <done. laughs> sweet, well done. Okay, I'll, I'll go up and distract the grouse. You can, I'll sneak up here. Okay, your, your turn. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> keep, no, keep him over to the left. <laughs> now I'll go. I'll, I'll pull you up. To you. There you go. <laughs> now we can breathe again. Yeah, finally. 
Or can we? <laughs> So that's a, that's a quick little look at uh, Unravel 2. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I, I really hope you like it. And um, before I go, I just want to send some, some love to the team back home because working on this game has been an, a, a completely amazing team effort on so many levels, and everybody has worked so hard. So. There, there's a bunch of us from Coldwood here, and, and thank you to those, and thank you to everybody back home, and thank you. Love you. <laughs>